Hi friends, happy Thursday. This is going to be a video for you uh, all on how to complete your solutions choice board for this class for Thursday and Friday. Sorry I couldn't be with you here today, but hopefully this video gives you an all-encompassing idea. But as always, if you still have questions, feel free to email me or ask Ms. Roper in the room if she's in the room as well. So first things first, you're going to go ahead and click on that Google Classroom link. Remember that we will still be live today for Zoom. So if you have not joined the Zoom session already, um, go ahead and do that because Ms. Roper is definitely taking attendance. All right, so let's go ahead and go into Google Classroom. And we'll go into third period. If you go ahead and click on Classwork, right under your Unit Solutions, Assets, and Bases, you'll see this option for the Solutions Choice Board. You're going to want to go ahead and open up that main document so far, right? So Solutions Choice Board, you're going to open that up, and it's going to open up this document, all right? So the thing about this Choice Board is that you do not have to complete all nine of these squares. No, 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 my friends, right? This is going to be like a game of tic-tac-toe minus the fact that you cannot go up and down. What do I mean by that? So you can create, excuse me, you can complete, right, options one, two, and three, or maybe options four, five, and six, or maybe options seven, eight, or nine, okay? You cannot go up and down. You cannot do one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, right? That is not an option. However, if you want to get a little creative here, you can go one, five, nine, or seven, five, three. Okay, those are your two options, either in a straight row or in a diagonal pattern. And if you forget, it's right up at the top for you. So let's look at this first column right here. So this column is going to be your create column. You are going to create, right, whatever is at, it is asking for in your box, whether that's a vocabulary sheet or a 10-question quiz. Maybe it's a crossword puzzle. Either way, you are going to create something using that vocabulary of solutions and solubility that we've learned this week. So, for example, let's look at number one. So, using your vocabulary, create a closed sentence review sheet of terms from this unit in a Google document. Make sure to include a line where each word goes and a word bank. If you've ever done fill in the blanks, that's what a closed sentence is, right? Nothing too complicated. So, I'm going to go back up to that solutions choice board, and this is probably what it's going to look like for you, okay? It's got your work here, right, and it's got the solution choice board document. We already have this open, so I'm not going to go ahead and open it up. However, this is telling me that I need to create a Google document. So instead of having to go through the hassle of downloading it and linking it, right, I'm going to hit Add or Create, and I'm going to go into Click Docs. And once that's finished loading, oh, there we go. It's complete. It's excuse me. It's created a Google Doc for me. So right, I would type in my close sentence review and I don't even have to worry about right it saving because it'll automatically save to Google Drive and it's going to automatically save to my assignment so boom one category completely knocked out all right let's think let's look at the literacy column and you'll do these for excuse me you will do that for all of the create ones the only one that's going to have to be uploaded is this discovery puzzle maker right if you want to create a crossword puzzle with your vocabulary terms entering those words or clues okay and once it, once you hit create my puzzle right you will have to download it and again hit that add or create and upload it as a file right as a file a link or in your google drive if you need help with that definitely ask your teachers we can definitely help you OK, so looking at this, the Solutions Choice Board now, let's go to the second column of literacy. These are just like, just like, OK, just like the uh, activities you have been doing for the last two days in class. So in this case, I think I'm going to go to number five. So again, I pick my teacher, right? Do you have Ms. Waldron? Do you have Ms. Waldron, Ms. Roper? Do you have Ms. Roper, Ms. Miller, Ms. Smith, whoever, right? I'm going to pick what period I'm in, period two, maybe. Right. I'm going to read the article, which is also found in the actual choice board box for you. And I'm going to answer my question. Now, no, you must answer all of the questions before you can move on. And Google Forms doesn't automatically or save your, your uh, answers. So make sure that you're either putting your stuff in a Google Doc or in a sticky note or something so that if you lose your Google Form, you don't lose all your answers before you submit. Now, this one's also calling for me to watch a video, so I would go ahead and click on that. That's going to be through Safari Montage. So as long as you're connected to your school account, it should work. If it's not, ask your teacher. So 
you don't have to make a copy of the following drawing, right? So once you watch this video, it'll make a lot of sense on what you're supposed to do with this model. But I've already made a copy for you. So if you choose number five right here, right here, whoop, right here, okay? It is already in your solutions choice board and it's actually sitting probably right at the top, right? You'll move around your molecules, whichever way you need to move them and boom, Google saves it for you again. Google is the real MVP, let me tell you, right? The real MVP. All right, so let's say I've finished that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and close these two out. I hit it, uh, I hit it, I hit submit, right? I have uploaded to Google Classroom, we're good to go. And I can close that out. It will automatically save your answers for every single assignment in the literacy column, right? Two, five, and eight, as long as you submit that Google form, it will automatically save your answer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my third choice. I'm gonna look at number nine. Now, there's a lab proposal template right? Because in this case, we're going to be designing an experiment. Again, I've left you the lab proposal template in your Google Classroom. So you don't have to make a copy of it, right? Unless, um, <coughs> excuse me, unless you accidentally delete it, okay? But I'm going to show you a trick to that in just a second. So notice here, you can ignore that red font, right? If you don't, if you have not made a copy, if you don't have, excuse me, because you'll already have it in your Google Classroom, right? You're going to have to double click on the boxes, right? To answer the questions, right? For hypothesis material needed, you can also click on the box and hit edit and it will automatically save, right? Once you edit it. And again, it's just sitting there right there in your Google Classroom. So what happens if you automatically, if you accidentally delete something, right? So let's say I accidentally delete uh, this uh, Google Doc right here. Uh-oh, right? Well, thankfully, Ms. Roper made a copy for me. So I can just hit make a copy again, right? And that lab proposal template is are automatically going to pop up for me. Um, no problem whatsoever. I can get it back. Right, and I can go back and in, in and edit that as well. Okay, um, anything that you create in Google Docs, right? If you if you accidentally upload something that you don't want, right, you can exit out of it, right, and then go ahead and hit Add or Create and go back into your Google Drive and add that as well. Okay, or you can just create a new one. Now there is another option on here that is going to require you to have a Google Doc, right, um, or a model or a Google Drawing, which are all uh, options on here, right? Um, so you can upload a doc, a slides, um, a, a spreadsheet, or a drawing, right? Doesn't matter if you choose to do a, a model here. Uh, but another one that you have is your Flipgrid, right? Um, so what you can do uh, for your Flipgrid is you're going to create a video and share it on Flipgrid, um, giving me an example of unsaturated, saturated, and super saturated solutions, right? You have to tell me why it's classified as that, right? You can't just hold up a bottle of water and tell me that it's saturated. That's not the correct answer anyways, but you should be able to tell me why. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Flipgrid, right? You're going to hit join with Google, and you're going to go ahead and sign in with your Google account. Now, the Solutions Choice Board is already active for you, but you are going to go ahead and hit record a response, right? Assuming that you've got all your materials together. And it's going to automatically, right, pop up as your camera. You can see my lovely home in the background. Pop up with your camera, and you can go ahead and record that response. So let's say you've recorded your response. You're ready to go. You've shown me all of your different types of solutions. And I'm going to stop recording now. And I'm gonna hit next. Right? You're gonna go ahead and upload that. Go ahead and type in your full name here. Right? Oh, that's a lovely, lovely frame. You can definitely take a selfie, add a name tag, or you know, upload a photo over that. That's just absolutely beautiful for me, right? Um, and you can go ahead and hit submit. So it's gonna upload that video just a great cover photo. What can I say, y'all? I'm glad you came to watch this video. That way you can get the full effect, right? Um, so you can either download the video or the easiest thing to do, right, is to go and hit that link right here if you want to share it. You're going to go ahead and copy that link. And when you hit add or create, you're going to upload that link to that file. There we go. 
Perfect. So now my Flipgrid's been uploaded. The last thing that you are going to do, right, and this is an essential part if you want your assignment to be graded, you are going to come down here, right? Oops, my mouse is going haywire, right? And you are going to make note, right, of all of the activities that you did. So let's say you did one, five, and nine. That was the that was the pattern that you chose to use. So you are going to type in, I have completed activities one, five, and nine for my solutions choice board. Nobody else is going to be able to see it, right, except for your teacher, right? So Miss Roper will be able to see that I've commented this. We'll be good to go. And then I'm ready to turn it. Right, I check that I have all the things that I need, right? Did I submit a literacy assignment through a Google form? Did I create something for that first one, right? I may not need this lab proposal if I've done the flip grid, right? But, um, excuse me, I just wanted to show you how to upload that file. I hit turn in and I'm good to go. A couple things you need to know, right? You can always unsubmit, right, if you're not happy with something. You've got two days in class as well as at home to do this, right? So really take advantage of all of that time. As for your Flipgrid, right, I know some of you are worried that, oh, no, everybody's going to see that beautiful picture of me uh, on my Flipgrid. Don't worry. Your teachers have to approve the video so nobody else can see it. It's considered on private mode, right? So even though I've recorded a video, right, you can't see it as an audience until it is approved by your teacher. So don't worry. Nobody else is going to see it but us, okay? So again, hit that turn in button. Make sure you have done either a diagonal, right, one, two, three, right, or a cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you should be good to go, y'all. As always, if you have any questions, please let me or Ms. Roper or Ms. Miller or Ms. Smith, whoever your teacher is, please let us know. Um, and I will be so happy to see you guys on Friday. And hopefully um, this, is, this is a fun assignment for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions and y'all have a great day.